This video is part of the Rocketry Basics series. It will explain the concepts, terms, and definitions associated with a rocket's flight that everyone involved in rocketry needs to understand. These are called the phases of rocket flight. We will use this diagram to explain the phases of flight and several important events that occur during the flight. At first, this diagram can look a little complicated or even intimidating. To understand it, all we're going to need to do is break it down into one piece at a time. But before we do that, let's consider the whole thing as a big picture. What does an entire flight of a rocket look like? Example, we have a rocket sitting on the ground, we go through a countdown, the rocket ignites, it flies up in the air, it goes to some highest point, then it ejects, a parachute comes out, the rocket slowly floats back down till it touches down to the ground. You put all of those together and you're right back to that diagram we started with. That diagram contains everything that happens during the flight of the rocket. The acceleration phase starts when the engine ignites and ends when the engine burns out. From ignition to burnout, the engine is burning fuel. It is producing thrust. This makes the rocket accelerate upward very rapidly. The acceleration phase is, however, very short in duration. It lasts only about a second. A small engine is less than a second. On a very large engine, it might be more than one second. But no matter what size engine it is, it's very short duration compared to the whole flight. When we reach burnout, what that means is all the fuel has been exhausted and the engine is no longer producing any thrust. However, by the time it is at burnout, it has already attained its maximum speed, even though it may only be 10, 20, possibly 30 percent of its maximum altitude. After the acceleration phase, the rocket enters the coasting phase. The coasting phase lasts from burnout all the way to ejection. During the coasting phase, no thrust is being produced because the engine has already burned out all of its fuel. However, at burnout, the rocket had a very high velocity. Since there's no more thrust being produced, what's going to happen is gravity is going to gradually slow it down. So the rocket's going to continue to go up, but it's going to slow down as it goes until it reaches some maximum altitude, and then it will start to fall from there. The coasting phase lasts for several seconds. It has a pretty significant duration. That maximum altitude that it reaches, we call that apogee. Apogee is simply defined as the highest point or the maximum altitude that the rocket reaches. And eventually you get ejection, which is when the rocket pops the nose cone off and deploys the recovery system. Normally ejection occurs after apogee, but it can actually occur at apogee or even conceivably before apogee. But normally we think of it as occurring after apogee. Once the rocket ejects the recovery system, it enters what's called the recovery phase. This means that the parachute has been deployed and it opens. The rocket's now floating down on the parachute, so you get a gradual descent that's at a constant speed, and it lasts for a long time. It's really the longest part of the rocket flight. It lasts for many seconds as the rocket recovers from a high altitude, either very close to apogee or conceivably all the way to apogee, all the way back down to the ground until it finally touches down. When we combine everything together, we get this summary diagram. It shows the three phases of flight, acceleration, coasting, and recovery. It also shows the five events that occur along the way, ignition, burnout, apogee, ejection, and touchdown. You need to make sure you understand what each of these is and what each term means if you want to truly understand how model rockets work and want to be able to design and build your own rockets. This has been Rocketry Basics, Phases of Rocket Flight. After watching this video, you should download and or print a copy of the Phases of Flight Summary for future reference.